We are in the kitchen today and we are going to be making homemade mayonnaise from just a few simple ingredients that you most likely already have. And we're also going to be making a potato salad and we have a unique way that we like to make it that we want to share with you guys. First off, we're gonna start with the mayonnaise, which is one of the ingredients in the potato salad. Eric and I have been making mayonnaise for a few years and we were doing it all wrong. This method I'm about to show you is super simple, way quick, you'll have mayonnaise in under a minute. The key to that is an immersion blender. So if you have an immersion blender, get this guy out. This is when you wanna call him into action. The other way of making mayonnaise, you can use a hand mixer or you can use a food processor and it is a very slow process of adding the oil in slowly with the egg to get that consistency. We're gonna start with one egg half a cup of olive oil, half a teaspoon of white wine vinegar, half a teaspoon of mustard, and half a teaspoon of kosher salt. That's all the ingredients you need. And this is the simplest part about making mayonnaise is this immersion blender. We're gonna put it in there on high and see how fast that this turns into mayonnaise. So that's it, we now have instantaneous mayonnaise and you can even add a little bit of lemon juice if you have some lemons, that gives it a really nice tang. We love making mayonnaise like this, it tastes so good with the olive oil in comparison to vegetable oil or canola oil. Mayonnaise like this, especially with lemon juice, will last quite a while in the fridge. We are going to set ours aside and get our potatoes cooking. Let's get started on the potato salad. And the way that we make this a little bit unique is we fry the potatoes. So it gives it a crunchy texture to the potatoes. This was one of the monsters that we grew. I believe this was the smallest of the three. And if I remember correctly, it weighed about two and a quarter pounds. We're going to weigh it one more time before we get started and get it chopped up. It looks like we have lost just a little bit of moisture in that root cellar, but it is still looking really good and very firm. This variety of potato we're using is red Pontiac. We are going to go ahead and get it diced up and put it in the pan. Wow, gorgeous color on the inside. As you can tell, this is going to be a one potato potato salad. And we've had these potatoes storing for a little under two months in our root cellar. And you can tell that they're still very crunchy and storing quite well down there. For this recipe, we are leaving our skins on. That's just our preference. While these potatoes are cooking, we are going to get some of the other ingredients chopped up, which is four hard boiled eggs, two small red onions, and two carrots. Our carrots have been in the root cellar for about as long as the potatoes, and they are still very crunchy and storing well too. We've had our onions storing inside of our cabin for about three months now. It's just too moist in our root cellar, so this has been working out all right for us. Last, we need to get our four hard-boiled eggs chopped up.
Now let's get started on our dressing. We are using half a cup of mayonnaise, half a cup of kefir, one cup of relish, one tablespoon white wine vinegar, and one tablespoon of mustard. We ended up using close to a cup of mayonnaise for the dressing. We're going to get this mixed in with our chopped ingredients. Our potatoes are done cooking. We are going to put them outside and let them cool down for a little before we add them to the dressing. Since it is so cold outside, these did not take very long to chill down. And we're going to have to let this chill another round, either for a few hours or you can put it overnight in a refrigerator. And that way the potatoes will absorb more of that dressing. So right now at this point, we're gonna have some extra liquid. The last thing we need to add is our herbs. First, we're gonna grind peppercorns and then we're gonna be doing dill, tarragon, celery leaves, and parsley. That's it for this recipe. We are going to let this sit for a few hours and be eating this for dinner. We're going to start with one complete egg. We're going to start with one complete egg. We're going to start with one. As we actually saute these. Fry them. Okay. Yeah. Saute? It's in a mushroom. So I have to say it again. Yeah, you're going to do the whole thing again. Oh, gotta try that. Gotta try it. So simple. Put so sweet. On it. Oh. Hot mama. <laughs>